So I'm revealing now on the show for the first time, uh, I'm a published author, but I do book reviews. And I just want to tell the audience, Mike, I think you know this, that author's work's not known. The only time our work is known is if somebody reads our book and they post a review. They tell somebody about it. And so I've written you a review, and I'd like to read it out loud for the sake of the interview. And you'll, I'll gift it to you. It's already on Amazon. So if you can bear with me, I'll take a minute. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. This was posted September 17th, yesterday, my daughter's birthday, by the way, posted on Amazon.ca. I titled the review, A Raw, Inspiring Journey of Resilience and Recovery, Must Read. So here we go, Mike. Mike Harcourt's Plan B initially grabbed me and didn't let go. The hard-hitting storytelling pulls you into the jagged edges of his life-altering accident, his fall from a deck into the ocean, a moment that changed everything. Mike's account is gripping and the way his co-author, John Lakich, brings those moments to life is masterful. What struck me most, Mike, was the human side of a man many only know as a political figure. We seldom get such an intimate window into the personal struggles of public figures. But here, we get to see Mike's persona fully. His humor, resilience, and grit shine through every page. It was incredibly heartwarming to read about his wife, who I called Betty, who I know now is Becky. <laughs> Becky, who became the heroine of this story, and we'll dedicate the show today, I think, to her too. And your son, Justin. I have a son named Justin. The difference is yours has an E and mine is an I. Right. Who throughout the book, by the way, Mike, there's comments from Justin that just tear me up. How he spoke about you as pride and how how he spoke about you as a father. Something I never really did much with my own dad because he was a different kind of guy. And his son, Justin, whose love and care for his father were inspiring. Having faced my life-changing brain injury myself, Mike's journey gave me a deep perspective on overcoming adversity with positivity, love, and the power of staying connected to those around us. I especially appreciated the 10 lessons shared at the end of the book, lessons that speak not only to recovering from physical injury, but also to navigating life's most challenging moments. This book is not just about recovery. It's about what it means to be human in the face of tremendous hardship. I recommend it wholeheartedly, especially to anyone facing their own personal plan B in life. 